This is Raquel of the Yoga Slackers. Today I want to share with you three easy ways to store a long line. This is our 108 foot e-line webbing. In this video, we're going to show you how to daisy chain it, double coil it, and stack it. Let's start by taking this coil off. That was fun. Here is your messy 108 foot line. I was careful enough to keep both ends of the line on my hand as I was pulling it through to make sure that I have less opportunities to have a tangle on the webbing. I still need to find the middle of the line. Okay? So I have the loop side and the end. I'm going to take my time passing my hand through to find the middle of the line. I have my webbing, I have the middle of the line, and as I mentioned before, this is still a relatively short piece of webbing. If I am going to be setting this webbing often on its full length, are, I am most likely than not going to daisy chain it. And I'm going to do that quadruple daisy chain. So I have two pieces of webbing on my side and one and two in the other side. Middle of the line, both ends, I grab this through. And now I'm going to flip the line over, create a small loop on itself, pass my hand through the small hole, grab the webbing, and continue doing that until I finish the line. This is a little easier to do if you are standing, uh, because the weight of this daisy chain is going to start pulling the daisy chain for you. So you're gonna have gravity working on your favor. Cool, get to the end of the line, pass it through, give it a tug that is going to lock your daisy chain. And once again, we are going to place our carabiners here. So I will take the two loops, pass it, then take my tail ends and pass it through. And I have a shorter piece of webbing to work with than if I had done a double daisy chain or even a single daisy chain. Now, if I'm gonna be carrying this, what I'm gonna do is make it even shorter by taking one of those middle loops, or actually taking all four of the middle loops and passing it through. And then I will clip this to my backpack or even just put it like this on my backpack. Again, I will only do this if I'm using the line over and over and I'm using it at its full length. If I am traveling with this line, I will coil it. So let's see how to do that. We are going to once more remove the daisy chain from here. And I wanna make sure I have this here in my hand and I'm gonna pull through. have here the middle, my, the middle of the line, which we found before, and now in my other hand, I have the quarters of the line, which before I came around and marked them. It's just a little bit of a different mark, but if I was doing this right now, I will put two dots on each side, so I know that these are the quarters of my line, but which I have done here on the past. So what I'm gonna do now is that I'm going to take these two ends, and I'm going to start coiling from here. Let's see that. So I have the quarters of my line. I found this by grabbing both ends of the line, finding the middle, folding the line over again in half, in half and finding the middle of that. Now, we are going to coil from both directions. The advantage of doing it in this way, in which I started, this will be the middle of the line. I didn't start it there. Uh, that will give me a one big coil. It's very similar to the one I started or that was sent to me. Is that now I have two coils that I can work with. First, I can stack this over and this is easier to manage uh, in terms of traveling or putting it on a bag. But also I can secure this with a rubber band 
and also secure this with a different rubber band and I can work with one side of the line without having to undo the other side. And this is our preferred method to do things. So the way we travel with these bags is that we have a small bag or our e-line bag, we just don't have one here. This is the world of COVID-19 and not having all your gear with you. And I will take this end of the line and put it down here and if I know I'm only going to set a 50 foot line, I will grab this piece, go straight to one anchor with a carabiner, open this side and deal with that while the rest of the line is nice and coiled, staying clean and out of the way. To store it, I will put this also on a rubber band, put it in my bag, close it. I will put there my anchor in this in here, my carabiners, always attach to something. So even if this is coiled, I will do something like that. So I'm never losing my gear. Good. This I will do if, again, mainly I am, we are traveling and we are very short in space. If space is not an issue, I prefer stacking long lines. Another way to store your webbing will be to stack it and it's usually done on a bag or on a box and it's done with longer pieces of webbing. 108 feet you can daisy chain it, you can coil it or you can still stack it. You find a bag, whatever bag that you like and you want to make sure you can reach the bottom of it and all we're going to do is start putting the webbing one on top of each other. right? Uh, we, you want to take your time doing this. It's not about grabbing the webbing and putting it on the back. It's about putting one piece on top of the other. Once you make it to the end of the line, make sure you, you know, position your bag, whichever ba bag the way you want it. allowed some of its tail to stay out. On this one, I'm not so much worried about the water uh, tightness of this bag at the moment. I can close it and I can actually keep that last piece of webbing stuck in here. Because all I'm trying to do is to inhibit this piece of webbing to go into the bag because I don't want that tail end to kind of weave itself through the rest of the webbing. To use this, all I have to do is open the bag clip this to my anchor and start pulling, right? So it's super easy to use. It keeps the webbing nice and organized. I don't have to spend the time daisy chaining or coiling, and it's a really good way to avoid knots. Um, so that is, that is another option that you have to deal with your webbing. And it also makes for a nice soft camping pillow. The three methods are you are stacking, remembering to hold on to the end of the line, coiling it from the center, from the middle of the line, or daisy chaining, remembering to use your carabiner, your hardware to connect to all the ends of your daisy chain. So that is three easy ways to store your line.